Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to jump back on uh, the Case 1845 skid steer. And uh, we're going to put the, a light bar on it that I got from a friend of mine. <coughs> Thanks, Stephen. Um, we're going to mount it right up underneath uh, the cage here. And I've already made some brackets for it out of just uh, some band iron, bent it, drilled some holes in it. You know, the usual manufacturing stuff. So, with that, stay tuned. All right, well, let's see how this, uh, see how my brackets work out. Um, this wire will go through this hole here. And I've already measured in between the, the boom. There's plenty of room in between them as you can see there. So the boom shouldn't hit it as it's moving up and down. Shouldn't, you know, shouldn't. You know what the word? Oh, look at that. That looks like it's gonna work just fine. Oh yeah. Heck yeah. Looks like it works pretty good. Oh yeah, buddy. I like it when a plan comes together. Yeah, that's pretty good. I don't think it's going anywhere. Can I still adjust it? I mean, I can turn it a little. Looks pretty even on both sides. Heck yeah. I'll take all this extra wire off and wire it up into this panel here. Show you what I'm talking about. Right here is all the idiot lights, and there's supposed to be a switch in this bottom hole. I'll make that the switch for this light. Hmm. Do I like that wire like that? I guess I can get the... Uh, yeah, I can put it in like that. Tuck it in up there somewhere. And then bring it down. Right into that. I wish this would have had a, a cap over the top, but it don't. That's okay. We'll make it work. Yeah, I got all these wires in here, and I got to rewire. I was told by the people I bought this from that uh, it used to have all the wires here. But uh, for some reason, they decided it uh, wasn't necessary and ripped them all out. So, yeah, that'll go in there. That's long enough to reach that. Looks like there might be some butt connectors right there. Hmm. Let me peel this open, see what it looks like. some terrible tape. This is that tape that breaks down and gets real sticky. Yeah, there's just uh Yeah, just like that. Heck yeah. So I don't know exactly how the wire runs normally. I do know it comes out of here, but does it just loop? I don't know. Maybe it just loops from here and just kind of goes up and plugs into the bottom. I don't know. I'm sure there's gonna be a wire loom on it. 
Hmm. Yeah, I want to get this stuff done so I can get the side panels in and the fenders. And I got to get all this uh, wiring done. Yeah, that's not obstructing my view any. It looks like it's going to work good. I was told it works. I don't know if it does. But we'll find out. That's for sure. All right, let me see if I can find some wire so we can uh, continue on this uh, path. All right, I went and scrounged up some stuff. I went and scrounged up some wire. And I mean, they're just black and white, but I mean, they'll work for what I needed to. Uh, I scrounged up this piece of wire. I think this was already on the machine. It's got a 30 amp fuse in it. So we're gonna fuse this guy here. This is a, um, a fuse block. So we'll fuse this with the 30 amp. Can't imagine those lights and any, everything else using more than that. I got this switch that I found, um, a plate. Yeah, it's kind of off, but you know, it, it still says on and off. So up would be on and whatever. I mean, it's gonna work. It's gonna work. And I got this bolt to bolt this down. So let's get started with that. Let's bolt this guy down. I'm gonna bolt it right, in, right up in here. I don't know if you can see that but uh, these two holes here i'm going to use one of them because it's actually too wide i don't feel like drilling another hole it'll be it'll be fine it'll be fine trust me it'll be fine Paul. There's just so much room here. It's getting tight. It'll work. So it's got multiple uh, points of power sources. So that'll work just fine. I don't know if I want to put that fuse in there. I could just go. If you look here, I can literally just go from here to here, and this will shut off the power. The power comes in on on this lug. Hmm. Maybe I'll just run it to this, and then I switch it off all the time. Yeah, I think that's the way I'm going to go. All right. I like it when the new plan works. This is 10 gauge wire here. So that be, should be plenty. And those, those other wires that I got over there, those are all 10 gauge also. I'm just going to wrap this around here for now. I know I don't have an eyelet that will work for this, but I just want to get it hooked up and see how everything works right now. And if I can do that, then, uh, you know, a proof of concept kind of thing. That's good and tight. That should stay on there pretty good. What do you think? Look all right? I think it'll be fine. So I'm going to use this red one here. And I'm going to use this red one here as uh, the power for the lights. I'm going to hook it to the white because black is usually ground, as you can see. So I'll hook it to the white. We'll put some uh, connectors on this. I have uh, male and female connectors for this, so we'll do that. I can't imagine those LEDs are gonna take that much. So 
we'll see how that works. Let me get the connectors. And that's on there pretty good. I'm gonna have to get a fuse for this so it'll work. All right, I'm gonna hook the white to this. All right, that's connected. And get a little extra just in case. I think I need these spades. Yeah, I need these spades for the switch. Like I said, this is just proof of concept, just to make sure it works. Take this guy here, cut it up here. Cause I'm just gonna put a connector on it. And that's on there. So this will have to go to the top of the switch. So we'll cut that to about here. <laughs> Let's get the switch and put the switch in and continue on with that. Well, um, let me run this black wire first. Uh, what did I do with it? See if the switch fits. I haven't even tried it yet. Okay, up will be on, down will be off. Oh, kind of goes in there. I should probably plug that in first since I can't get to it. Get that kind of straight. Tuck these wires together like that. Put a wire loom on it. This is all just a proof of concept, like I said. Because I gotta wire all this other stuff up yet. I just wanna see if this is gonna work. All right, let me find a fuse. And uh, we'll see how it works. All right, well, I went through all the fuses that I got and all I could find are seven and a half amp. Uses. I don't know if it's going to be enough to power this light, but we're going to try it. We'll see what happens. Let's plug this into this block. That should be the that one there. We have the switch off. The switch is off. Okay, we'll turn the main power on. Okay, nothing's smoking, so that's a good thing. All right. Let's see if it see if it'll power it up. Contact. No, nothing. Nothing. Did it blow the fuse? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. So, is the fuse no fuse box no good? Everything's plugged in. Hey, the switch don't work. Is the switch no good. Hmm.
Hold on, let me see what I can do here. See if the switch is bad. You got a jumper wire. Okay, it's not the switch. Well, what the heck is it? Hmm. Is this guy? It's plugged in. What the heck? This is why I hate electrical. Something so simple and it don't work. Ugh. Let me troubleshoot this a little bit and see what's going on. All right, well, I figured out what it was. This butt connector wasn't connected right. It slid over to the side. The light went on for a second and it kind of blew the fuse. So the fuse is not big enough for that light. So I have to find another fuse somewhere and hook it back up to the switch, which is going to suck because it's like yeah, super tight in there. Yeah. Oh well, we'll figure it out. Let me see if I can find another fuse somewhere, a bigger one. I don't think I can have one anywhere. I mean, I could probably steal one from the mower for a temporary kind of thing. We'll see. All right, I went and stole a uh, fuse from uh, the, uh, my zero turn mower. It's a 30 amp. That should be more than adequate to run that light um, we'll see we'll plug this guy in here in this block it's starting to get dark out so this ought to work great all right let's see contact oh yeah oh look at that oh what the heck the switch has got an overload on it Oh, it's like a circuit breaker switch. Oh, jeez. Isn't that something? I've never seen a switch like that. Okay. Well, that switch ain't going to work. But the light works. It's quite bright, actually. Back in. Okay, so this is my view. Oh, yeah, that's plenty bright. I just don't like that it's got a circuit breaker switch on it. I didn't know they made such a thing. So I have to figure out what the amperage of that switch is, and then I can uh, then I can size up the the fuses for it. Hmm. Well, I know it works. It just doesn't stay on. Let's see if I turn off the main power. If I can do it quick enough. If it cuts it down or you know shuts it off yes it does so the main power switch will shut it off okay so well at least everything is working like it's supposed to other than the stupid switch hmm that's weird okay well until I get a new switch this is where it's gonna stand so to be continued I guess 
Um, if you like the content, thumbs up, hit the little doobly-doos, and we'll see you on the next one.